regular expressions NFA and DFA are all equivalent in terms of their descriptive power. Any language described by a regular expression has a corresponding finite automaton and vice versa. Hence, the languages described by regular expression or NFA or DFA are the class of regular languages. It is pretty easy to come up with an NFA if we are given a DFA. If you speak technically, every DFA is an NFA and checks off every rule in the NFA rulebook. To convert an NFA to DFA, you already spent enough time working through that problem last week. It involves creation of an automaton using subset construction. In this lecture, we shall discuss how to convert a regular expression to NFA. In the next lecture, we will see how to convert a DFA into a regular expression. With that, the cycle is complete. If you are ever asked to convert one entity to another, you can follow the path in this cycle to solve it. Let us also spend some time reviewing few key closure properties of all the three entities. To find intersection and union languages of two DFAs, we had to build a product automaton. For complement, we just had to flip the accept states to non-accept states and vice versa. Finding concatenation language of two DFAs is a hard task and so is the star operator on the language of a DFA. You can give that a thought. Uh, you would see the complications that would arise with it. That is where NFA comes to our rescue. Both concatenation and star operations become pretty easy to achieve using the epsilon transitions. It makes union of two NFA languages easy as well. The intersection language of two NFAs takes some extra work for accommodating epsilon transitions, but it is still doable. All right. Complement language of an NFA is tough to evaluate. The trick of flipping the accept non-accept states would not work for NFAs. Take this example NFA whose language is the character one. The complement language is every string in sigma star except one, but flipping the accept and non-accept states is going to result in an NFA that accepts only empty string. Fail. All right, and then we have regular expressions which are built based on an inductive definition with union concatenation and star operations. Using regular expressions, these three operations are pretty straightforward symbolic notations. If I give you two regular expressions and ask you to compute their intersection language, there is no straightforward way to do it. Might have to get the corresponding DFA to evaluate it. So is the complement language of a regular expression. Hope this gives you a perspective of how much we learned over past few weeks. All right, let us move on to the key topic of this lecture, converting a regular expression to an NFA. With just six cases in consideration, we will be able to achieve this with a step-by-step -step procedure. Here is the NFA for regular expression A, which is the language containing the string A. Here is the NFA for the language of empty string denoted by regular expression epsilon. Then we have an NFA for empty language, which does not accept any string. Given these three base cases and the union concatenation and star operations, which can be performed on NFAs as discussed earlier with epsilon transitions, we will be able to convert a given regular expression into an NFA. Let me explain this using an example. We shall construct an NFA for the regular expression 0, 1, union 0, whole star. First, I will build NFAs for regular expressions 
0 and 1. There they are. Now 0, 1 is the concatenation of regular expressions 0 and 1. So let us create an NFA that recognizes the concatenation language of these two NFAs. And how do we do that? We use epsilon transitions from the accept state of the first NFA to the start state of the second NFA. We also remove the accept states of the first NFA. Perfect. Now I can do 0, 1, union 0 this way by having a start state with epsilon transitions to the start states of the two NFAs. Finally, to perform a star operation on the whole NFA, I will do some rewiring, connecting the accept states with the start state using epsilon transitions and introducing this new start state to make sure empty string is in the star language. That's it. No matter what regular expression you see, you now know how to create a corresponding NFA.